Welcome to vlogging with my DSLR. Most of this course is based on FAQs, frequently asked questions, but this lecture answers a specific question, which is, can I be vlogging with my Nikon DSLR as an aid worker? First, let's define what is vlogging. A vlog is a blog in video format. A blog is made of periodically published text entries or posts on the internet, on the same site, of course. A vlog post is produced by creating a video where you address an issue, talk about a specific subject, or review a product. To be more specific for that aid worker, I may add creating a video to present an account of the project, challenges and successes, stages of evolution, the people involved, etc. It's about an Nikon DSLR, a D5600. The question? Should I use it for creating vlogs, or I should get rid of it and buy a new one? Note that this lecture is not a review of a specific DSLR camera, but it presents guidelines to answer this type of question by yourself. First, you have to make an assessment of your needs. What kind of video files vloggers usually produce? There are some typical specifications. Resolution, Full HD, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, or HD, 1280 by 720, at 60 frames per second. Video codec, AVC H.264, audio, AAC stereo, others, SDR, 8-bit, 420. Video clips time, less than 10 minutes. Second, you have to know your camera. The assumption for this answer, the camera and lens work very well as new. Without reading it all, we know that the specifications meet very well the requirements. But what about this 10 minute recording limit? This is in reality a limit of the file size, 4 gigabytes. Based on that and the manual, we understand that we can record Full HD at 30 frames per second or HD at 60 frames per second for up to 20 minutes. The camera has also a flip LCD screen, quite practical for vlogging. It also has an external mic input. Here are some info from reviews. Released in Spring 2017, Offers a good value for the money, a lot of impressive features, including a Nikkor lens, a great camera for vlogging. If it was good then for vlogging in HD and in Full HD, I presume that it's still good, correct? As an accessory, using a ring light instead of your office lighting will be well advised, as this Westcott ring light, for example. Here we have a small compact tripod from Manfrotto and a quick release clamp and plate from Small Rig also to consider. Using a microphone with an active gain, a preamplifier, as the Daiti V Mic D3 Pro shotgun will offer you a great sound. And note that the gain is adjustable on that microphone. You will have to do at least some basic editing. One piece of software to consider is Camtasia because you will use a lot of slides and photos in your production, and I guess you don't intend to do color correction. Its screen capture capability is great to produce video using a mic, a webcam, and PowerPoint presentations. One thing not to overlook, the camera is intended first to make pictures. I was told that the image quality delivered by the Nikon D5600 is quite impressive, as good as today's best APS-C camera. As an example, we have here the Inpixio photo editor, which is said to be quite easy to use. What about a new vlogging camera when the time comes? What would be your requirements? As compact as possible, 1 inch CMOS sensor minimum, UHD and Full HD resolution, 4208 bits, 
microphone, internal and external, flip screen, recording limit more than 30 minutes, micro HDMI clean video output, remote controllable. A good solution for missionaries, chaplains, aid workers and others. I call what's coming up the missionary pack. This solution starts with the Sony ZV-1 V-Logging camera with its remote control grip. You may also see Panasonic, Fujifilm and Canon products. Why did I say start? You should consider the camera not as being alone, not being one item only, but with accessories. They make the difference. Here is a compact field worker reporter camera kit based on the Sony ZV-1. Batteries and charger, shotgun and wireless mic system, continuous on camera light, are presented on Sony website. We also see SanDisk memory cards, Yulan Z wide angle and macro lens kit, Zinyun Crane M2 gimbal, and small rig sun hood. An extension rod for the gimbal can be considered. This one is from Yiliwit. A bag is also essential. If you go abroad, you will need the universal or international USB power supply and battery charger. A camera cage, as this one from small rig, is often quite useful. Personally, I use HitFilm Express free as one of my editing software for this type of work. Add-ons such as color scopes and correction for basic color adjustment and audio toolkit should be also considered. That's it for vlogging with my DSLR. You are now invited to the Micro TV studio of my church.